What's going on, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid. We back at it again. I hope everyone is doing great. Some more still game in the house for you guys. Season six, episode two. This one is called Fly Society, guys. So let's get right to it. Boom! Woo! And of course, we're still taking calls on today's quiz. And the question I'm asking you today is, what is the name of Jack Gusto's boat? What is the name of Jack Gusto's boat? It's the Calypso Winter. That's it, Calypso. <laughs> Three pine beans. <sighs> Wait a minute, Bobby. Tom's turned to pay for the pie and beans. Bobby, come on now, I'm on the phone, please. Big bastard. Oh, here we go. Penn and Teller. Sorry, Bobby. No way, you. We're magicians. Oh, are they? Aye. Aye, that's good, aye. Well, get us two pine beans before I make this boot disappear up your arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eric Winston. Tom, how you doing? Just, just do it, Victor. Thomas Mullen, 25 Ratlock Road, Craig Lang. It's a Gary Deal quiz. OK, now we have online a Mr Thomas Mullen from Craig Lang. Hello, Thomas, how are you? Hello! I don't believe I'm through. Well, you are. Can you tell us a wee bit about yourself, Thomas? I'm a, I'm a businessman. <laughs> OK, can I ask you what sort of business that is? Alex. Beetroot. I'm in the beetroot business. I must say, that's very unusual. I don't think we've ever had anyone on in the beetroot business before, so <laughs> you sell it, do you? I'm a supplier, you know. M&S, Sainsbury's, Tesco, all the big stores. OK, is it beetroot in jars? Oh, both types, uh, crinkly and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Any family, then? Eight sons and four daughters. Why? Oh, yeah, I have a large house and a, a big jag. Yes, yeah, beetroot's been very good to me. OK, OK. You remember we asked you, what was the name of Jack Cousteau's boat? That would be the Calypso. Guess what, Thomas? What's that? That's absolutely right. Congratulations, Thomas. You've won a pair of theatre tickets for this coming Friday for the first night of Uncle Vanya at the Citizens Theatre. And as an added bonus, a pre-theatre meal for two at Solana's Restaurant. Tell me, do you enjoy the theatre? Oh, she does. Uh, Beatrice, my life. Well, I'm sure <laughs> you both enjoy yourselves. In the meantime, congratulations again and thanks for calling. Nice. Good shit, Tam. What are you all about, eh, Tam? Big hoose jag. Eh? Beetroot be Christ. It's the radio. It's all fun. They can't see you. It's a perfect opportunity to somebody else for a laugh. Mm. Meal for two and a night at the theatre. Oh, you bastard. What? Francis is away at her sister's at the weekend. Oh, Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen. I have a meal for two at the fine Salernos, starter, main course and pudding, Followed by a very entertaining night at the theatre. Do I have fifty pounds? <laughs> have I fifty pounds in wow. the room for the whole package? Ten quid. Ten quid, Jesus! We have ten pounds. Do I hear twenty? No, you don't hear twenty. You hear ten because you didn't pay anything for it. Twenty. I'll go myself. Ah, oh, well, that's what today then, Tam, eh? You go yourself, eh? Jam two meals down your neck and then spread your fat ass over the two seats and enjoy the show. Ten quid. <laughs> Ten quid, what baby. You guys? No, no. Last time I went to the theatre was at Peter Powers, Naughty Naughty Hypno Show. That's right, because he got up on the stage and he made him eat an onion and then he got his cock out. <laughs> <laughs> What's this boy called? Uncle Vanya. It's about an uncle. <laughs> called Vanya. <laughs> I could have told him that much and shit. Who is this Uncle Vanya? <laughs> what were you, Bobby? Does this boy Vanya eat an onion and get his cock out? <laughs> I don't think so. Nah. Bites brick. Sold. That's gold. Sold. Oh, nice. Five pine beans. <laughs> Damn, you know he's pissed. This is smashing. Pizza there. Spaghetti bolognese. Uh -huh. Who's Paulo? It's fish, Jack. <laughs> Don't want right, that. You know. Hey. Good evening. Good evening, gentlemen. Nice of you, isn't it? Aye, aye. Shame we've got to go to the theatre. Russian garbage. Uh, bottle of wine and a bolognese inside us. He's snoring by the time the curtain goes up. We don't have to go, you know. No, we do not. Right, we'll stop our faces, then we'll head up the clan Aye, aye, aye. Good call. Bloody Uncle Vajna. Varnia. <laughs> aye, Varnia. 
It's Vanya. Excuse me? The play, it's Vanya. Are you going? Oh, yes, I will love the theatre. Yes, we see all the shows. Enjoy them thoroughly. We can't wait. Toby Canavan is such a wonderful actor. Isn't he? Isn't he, though, yes? Uh -huh. What was the last thing we saw at the Citizens, Victor? Uh, Shakespeare. It was Shakespeare. Indeed it was, yes. Which one was it again, Victor? <laughs> Set him up. <laughs> Set him up. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. I'll get the Is ladies. Nice right for you? Oh, aye. Perfect, aye. Ready to order? Eh, uh, just the soup and the spaghetti, son. I'll take the minestrone and the bolognese. Oh, yes. As will I. <laughs> <clears throat> would you ladies care for a glass of wine? That would be lovely. <clears throat> Yeah. Where are your seats? Oh, the seats, um, let's tell you that. B13 and B14. Oh, we're 15 and 16. We Ooh. could sit boy, girl, boy, girl. Oh. <laughs> boy, <Ooh>. girl, boy, <laughs> girl. I like it, boy, girl. <laughs> oh, shit. Boy, it's going to get laid. You must be well chuffed, eh, Bobby? No. Hmm? Look around you. This place, it's gone like a fair. You can hardly hear the jukebox for the till. Oh, well, it doesn't help when he sent two of my regular Friday night customers to the theatre. Mm. It's any consolation, Bobby. They'll be having just as miserable time as we are. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so, uh, where are you from? Kilmacombe. Oh, that's nice there. When Liz's husband died, she sold her house. And by the way, she made an absolute fortune on it. Stop it, you! Well, you did. She moved mm. in behind me. In fact, when I'm on the tennis court, I just shout over the hedge and ask her over <coughs> for a game. But we're both rubbish. We just do it as an excuse to drink pims in the afternoon. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so are you widowed? No. No, I'm divorced. Long time ago now. Blonde secretary. But I got my own back. I got myself a good lawyer, thank God, and got what I was due. Mm. Damn. That's uh, good news. Mm. So you two are brothers? Hey, oh, yeah, brothers, I. <laughs> yes, of course, uh, Jack's a couple of years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's that with your lies, Victor. He's actually two years older than I am. So are you retired, the both of you? Oh, yes, yes. We sold our business. Oh, what sort of business did you have? <laughs> hey, beetroot. <laughs> Sending it all over the world. You'd be surprised how lucrative it is. Yeah, of course, we sold the business, then we split it right down the middle, you know. But I'm good to myself, I don't mind telling you that, and I have been. Yeah. I was a little bit shrewder with my money. I uh, invested it and tripled it in a year. Mm -hmm. You're a very clever man, my older brother. And certainly my wife died, but she was independently wealthy, you see. So that brought me right back up on a par financially. <laughs> oh, again. Then, unfortunately, my wife died. And she left me enough to race away back in front of him for Jack. Jesus. So you're men of leisure? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not indeed? And now this next lot are on us. Now you got the last three now. <laughs> right. Trippled it in a year. <laughs> Excuse me, older brother. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> uh, right though, isn't it? It's good being somebody else for a wee while, isn't it? Aye, aye. Well, it's all well and good, but. And uh, nice ladies. Um, my question is, let, right now, at this current stage right now, let's see if they're bullshitting the way these guys are bullshitting. Maybe we should just ease off a little bit in the tall tales, eh? Oh, yeah. Otherwise, I'd expect to run up the road in a Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, we'll just cool it down, right? It's I'm doing it. Sitting here suited and booted, chit-chatting with a couple of good-looking dames. It takes years off you. Aye. Oh, look, they're coming back. Now, let's just keep yeah. on letting the porkies, yeah. eh? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Hey. Oh, that's good. Your gossips. <laughs> chin, chin. Chin, chin. I've got a boat. <laughs> How romantic. So it's Captain Jack. Aye, aye, ma'am. Oh, yes, aye. It's a 40-footer, all singing, all dancing. 
Berth, six comfortably. I'm more of a landlubber myself. I summer at my retreat in Kenya. <laughs> Jesus! You liars! Do you uh, get to the country often? Which country? The Scottish countryside. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Not as often as we'd like, eh, Jack? No. It's, um, but, but we have friends that live in Blair Tannoch. Um, they're always entertaining. In fact, we're going there tomorrow for a bit of shooting, and then later at dinner and a party. Would you like to join us? Cameron always welcomes any friends of ours. Hey, uh, Victor? Oh, that would be wonderful, yes. Uh, tomorrow? Give us a number and we'll call you in the morning with how to get there. <laughs> It'll be lots of fun. It's only for the one night. Overnight? Yes. The drinking goes on till the wee hours. Right. We'll bring our jammies. <laughs> Let's go. You might not need them. <coughs> oh! <laughs> I like it. Very fresh. <laughs> like it. See? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, Jack. What are you need in a case that size for? Stuffing it. It's an overnighter we're going to, not three weeks in the Queen Mary. Well, you're probably underpacked. I know what I'm doing, boy. Right, get it open and we'll see if you know what you're doing. That's a big suitcase mm. for one night. Well, uh, here we go. Gardening gloves. What do you need these for? Uh, brambles. Thicket, jaggy nettles and that. Not required. Full Torch. Uh, start in the country. We're not shooting at night, Jack. Oh. What'd you pack cheese for? <laughs> I like cheese. Me are. too. So do the toffs. There'll be no shortage of cheese. So not of the cheese, then? Not of the cheese. Mosquito net. Hmm, in January. Not needed. You don't know what to pack. Pillow. Or the bleach. <laughs> or, in fact, the wellies. Oh, wait a minute. I'll, 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 I'll need the wellies. You'll no need wellies. Toff's houses are full of wellies. They've got rooms specifically designated for wellies. They're welly daft. No, well, I'm saying you're way off in the wellies, Victor. Aye, well, we'll see. Jack gotta be the worst freaking packer in the planet. That's horrible packing. I thought I'd pack like shit. Hey. Oh, wait, 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 Jack. I'll get Let's see what lie he does. Good morning. How may I help you? <laughs> Whom may I say is calling? <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> Sir? Sir? Sir is making his way from the conservatory. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> These shitheads. of this hall. Oh, yeah. Ah, I'm good to hear from you. Ah. Right, oh, I've got a pen here. I find a way. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, the Grange. Uh -huh. And the number. Oh, no number. Just the Grange. And that's in Blair. Tunnock. OK. Aye. Aye. I'll bring my wellies. Aye, aye. <laughs> I'll have loads of wellies. Aye. Hold on a second. Take the wellies out the case, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, OK. No, no, listen, wait a minute. Don't send a driver for us. We've got our own driver. No, no, that's fine. All right, then, we'll see you then. Bye, then. Bye. Who's the driver going to be now, Naveen? Why'd you turn the lift down? Where are we going to get picked up for? This shithole. Aye. <laughs> Blair Tunnock's in the middle of nowhere. You can't even get a bus. I know. Finally. Dan? Aye! Are you bringing the bloody stock or what? Uh, none of it. I need to go back to the cash and carry. I forgot. Curly whirlies. You can get down next time. No, no, no. If a job's worth doing well. Oh, boy. So, what's in Blair Tunnock? That five quid was for petrol. It's no cash for questions. <laughs> What's the street? Hey, it's not a street. It's called the Grange. Ooh, the Grange. Wait, that's you. Wow. I know. 
because it looks bad. What are you doing, you imbecile? Can you not see that we are receiving guests? Deliveries round the back. Take a poke at your arse, you prick. <laughs> prick. Take us back with you, man. Jesus. Nice one, Tam. Come on, lads. What's going on? The suitcase is telling me something, anything. Thanks for the theatre tickets. You're doing a grand job. There's a piper jack, not a bloody busker. Get in. Wow. You made it. Pam, Liz. Oh, it's bracing out there. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'll take your cases to your rooms. Smashing? Marvellous. I'll just tell Cameron you arrived. Ah, you blood! <laughs> and this is... Jack, this is Victor. Jack and Victor Pibblington. <laughs> Your brothers. So that makes me Jack Pibblington. The Pibblington brothers. Unusual name, Pibblington. Oh, nothing wrong with that, though. Once knew a man in the army called Snarkleford. Jonathan Rice Edward Snarkleford, a prick of a man. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not to say that your stupid name makes you two pricks. <laughs> Here, look at these down here. Let's start as we mean to go on. Have you done shooting before? Uh, just at the fun fair. <clears throat> We've shot every creature on God's earth. Freaking bullshit! Wait, did they just make sure I heard it right, guys? Did they just say their last name is Pilkington? I know I'm saying that last name wrong, but this one is said Carl, you know, basically Carl Pilkington's last name. Did they just use that shit or am I wrong? Safari, man. Oh, yes, we've shot the lot. We even kicked a giraffe to death one time. <laughs> bullshit! Such a liar. That's so Get wrong. Get down the gun room, gentlemen. The gear's all there. We'll see you in half an hour. <laughs> How far are they in full of shit? Just tomato juice, isn't it? No, 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 no. There's about a quarter bottle of vodka through that, Jack. Tally ho. Mm. Tally ho. <laughs> oh, my God. That's how they're going to be hey, shooting. This is a bollocks, isn't it? Aye. You going to shoot the gun? Hey. No. I don't know. I'm 75, Jack. I am here for the grub and the drink. <laughs> William Featherston. Oh, hi. Uh, hello, Victor. I'm Jack, aye. Uh, you're with uh, Pam and Liz. We are, yes, smashing girls. Yes. Uh, they were saying you have a place in, in Kenya. Oh, yes, Kenya. Whereabouts? Kenya. <laughs> yes, whereabouts in Kenya? Eight Mombasa. Yes, uh, <clears throat> Uh, east of Mombasa. You have a place east of Mombasa? Oh, yes. Very nice it is, too. Rolling hills for as far as the eye can see. Uh-huh. East of Mombasa. Uh-uh. Uh, uh, be my guest. No, no, no. You carry on. I insist. Go uh, on, go on. <laughs> Thanks for the theatre tickets. <laughs> theatre tickets. Oh, we're getting nowhere fast here. Time to pull in the big guns. Isa! Hi, boys. Hey. Isa! My love! Jack and Victor are up to something. We can't figure out what they're at. Give me what you've got. Tam here trapped the boys at a big estate house in Blair Turnock. Oh! They had suitcases with them. Hey. Fancy cars in the drive. Right. And they made me drop my good bit of wife of the house. And then as a parting shot, what was it they said, Tam? Thanks for the theatre tickets. Mm. Well, I know they went to the theatre because Marie McDonald for the bakery says she saw them at the bar at the Citizens. Talking to two well-heeled women they were. Ay, laughing and joking away. No, Jack and Victor go to the theatre. They meet two snotty-nosed women because it's all the highfalutin types that go there. Now, they women either have a big hoose or they know somebody that does, and our boys have wangled an invite. Now, the suitcases, big are we? We. Oui. Well, that would suggest an overnight stay, and it wouldn't surprise me to find out our boys are making out their turfs themselves. How so? Because they don't have a fancy car, and they wouldn't want to be seen getting out of an old van, eh? Yeah. That would show they didn't have two bulb. So, that 
is why you dropped him a good bit away for the house. Jesus, Isa, you are good. I'll give you that. She is the freaking best. She is better than Sherlock Holmes. And there was a show I used to grow up watching, uh, Murder, She Wrote. This, this lady here, right here can solve anything and she can deduce anything. That's one of Isa's strengths. Tell you, she's amazing. The weekend, a good living. And we're not invited. We certainly are not. So we're sitting in a chieftain tank three miles from the Suez, out of fuel, taking heavy fire, absolute carnage everywhere. The entire village behind us on fire, completely surrounded. Who marches round the corner, immaculately dressed, but Dickie Farnborough, holding a bottle of port and shouting at the top of his lungs, Where's the bloody party? <laughs> <laughs> You must have some riotous tales from Kenya. Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing funny ever happened to me in Kenya. Nothing funny. But Jack used to visit. <laughs> and when he did, that is when the funny things happened. Uh, Jack? Jack. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I am. Um... Just one time, I like to recall when um, Victor and I were on safari in Kenya, <laughs> and uh, um, we were in the car. Well, the, the jeep, you know, a safari jeep, and a big pile of monkeys uh, come out from nowhere. <laughs> and uh, one in particular, wee monkey, uh, got hold of the, um, the aerial and snapped it off, and then uh, ran away with it into the jungle. <laughs> it was some laugh. It was. A... That story's shy, freaking shy, Jack. <laughs> This is all east of Mombasa, is it? Yes. Was it a sea monkey? Sorry? It's just anything east of Mombasa must surely be the Indian Ocean. Screwed up, guys. It is east, isn't it, Victor? Um, I suppose it depends on which way you're pointing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it, it could have been west. <laughs> there you are, then. Yeah. <laughs> a monkey snapped to an aerial. Run away to the west. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, people. We have some more guests. <laughs> this is Winston Halliburton Clegg and his wife, Isabella. Their Bentley's run into a ditch on the farm road. The bloody RAC can't get there till the morning. It's a filthy night, so I've asked them to join us for supper, if no one minds. Oh, I don't mind. Wow. And this is. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Hey, I'm. Uh... This is uh, Thomas. <clears throat> He's my uh, personal. Hey, uh, Thomas, grab yourself a sandwich in the servant's quarters. I don't mind sitting here with you, Slot. Oh, very good. How dare? <laughs> Get out of here, Tim! Go fix yourself a sandwich, son. <laughs> wow, I can't believe they came, guys. The president says there's no drinking. All we want to do is get stinking. Everybody's talking about Voice. What the hell are you two playing at? The same thing that you're playing at. Think we're going to sit in the Mankey Clansman, eh, when you're here, lording it up? We were invited. You two bastards are gatecrashers. Shut up. Just a wee laugh, isn't it? <laughs> We'd like to tell the lassies at the bingo. <laughs> Stop the music. Let's have a good old game of charades. Well, Come on, Liz, you're first. All right. Well, though, uh... Come on, everybody, settle down. Did you enjoy it? Okay, the line of blank. Ah, yes, and the universe starts. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. The book, quick. The book, yes. Five, Five words. words. Mm -hmm. First word. Right. Far, far, far. far, far. Mm -hmm. Fifth word. Fifth word. Uh, right. Sounds, sounds like. like. Shout. Clout. Shout loud. Sounds like proud. Uh, ah. Far from the madding crowd. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Winston, have a go. Uh, all right. Um. <coughs> uh oh. <laughs> right. A film. Oh, we, we, we tend not to, to do films. We we stick to theatre or, or books. <laughs> oh, I can say book as well. Grand. Come on. Uh, <coughs> one more. Sounds like... Willie! <laughs> <laughs>
Strange couple. Yeah, I think it must be new money. Sounds like boys. Cause... <laughs> God, man, what are you doing here? Eh? You should be in the quarters at the rear of the house. Thomas, what are you playing at? <laughs> <laughs> you insubordinate dog. Damn. Stand over there. Jesus. Don't give Winston power, it's gonna go to his freaking head. I've never played charade or charades or whatever it's called. Um, never played that game before. I'll probably be trashing that game. Now, repeat after me. Please forgive me, for I am a worthless idiot. Please forgive me, for I am an idiot. Worthless idiot. Worthless idiot. Steady on, old boy. Please, calm. This man is a servant. When a dog pisses your carpet, you don't give it a biscuit, you rub its nose in it. Now, bend over. What? You heard me. Bend over. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Can't believe he did that. He liked it. He got turned on. Oh dear. What's wrong? It's a bit of bad news, I'm afraid. Something's been stolen. What? You've been burgled. Well, I'm not sure. It's a, a small painting of my grandmother. It's, it's dear to us. It's painted by Sir John Lavery. I'm afraid I'm going to have to call the police. Oh, my. I imagine there will be questions. How will someone take a painting with his grandmother? Oh, yeah, I mean, really. I don't think But I, this is poor again. Well, I, 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 I mean, who, Right. Who That's it. I'm out of here. This is turning into bloody Cluedo. Pam, have you stole that man's painting? Indeed I have not. I never had my bloody ass kicked for nothing. Right. <laughs> Jack, Victor, are you coming? Coming where? This is preposterous. Yes, it is. I mean, who are you? You can drop me plummy voices. The police will be here in two minutes. And they'll find out that we are no a bunch of toffs that were a, a pile of rubbish for Craig Lang. Then we'll get the blame for that painting, even though we never took it. He's right. <clears throat> and this is when you, you lie and that shit, shit just snowballs and snowballs. You get in big trouble. Who stole that shite? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All this. Oh! Or Where are you going? Listen, guys, I can't be here when the busies arrive. I've got previous for this. I'll get 18 months shoved up my arse. <laughs> Give that to me. Here's some piece of work, you, eh? Giving it to us tight about Kenya. Oh, no wonder. I can spot a new user like myself a mile off. Well, <clears throat> he's not stole anything new, has he? No. So, out the window. Everybody get the hell out! Get out, everybody! Listen, we're really, really sorry. The thing is, we've told you a lot of lies, eh? But we're just trying to impress you. I don't need to get too bob. Where's the Craig Lang? We came here in a transit van. Is it still out there? Eh? You could use a lift. We're for Park Mill. We don't get too bob either. Let's go! Everybody's a freaking liar here! <laughs> oh, shit! Hey, the dog! Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Felt like I was watching a little bit of episode of Clue and shit. Oh, man, good episode. Prince Naveed Farik, 
The horse drawing our carriage became lame, so we had to shoot it. We were wondering if. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> we almost could see a little bit of me now uh, through, through whatever, uh, not the peacock type shit, but whatever the hell that shit was. We could almost see her. We're getting close to seeing what she looks like. Um, eventually, we will see, and we ain't going to be cheating. I ain't going to cheat. A great episode. Uh, hands down, one of the funnier parts has to be when Jack and Victor had the gun. Easily. Just um, <laughs> shooting the guy in the ass. <laughs> oh, that shit was hilarious. Good part right there. Um, that's the thing, you know. I, we've all went through a time where, you know, we've lied, um, you know, to try to impress someone, with, especially when they're younger days. I've, I've done that in my younger days. Not so much now, I keep it 100% honest, but in my younger days, um, yeah, we always lied to try to, you know, impress the girl, you know, or, you know, a lady's trying to impress a guy or whatever, um, but that shit ends up snowballing, that shit, you eventually, you, you, the lie just becomes so freaking big that you just, you almost get engulfed into it, and then eventually they find out you're full of shit, then you're in big trouble, so... That's something that I instilled today, like on my nephew, to make sure that he doesn't lie, to always be honest. Even if you get in trouble, keep it 100% honest and stuff like that. And there's not too many people these days that are honest, but um, we like to keep it that way. But it was such a great episode to see everyone else, um, the other two ladies full of shit. Because I started thinking, oh shit, maybe, you know, they weren't lying about anything. But it was good to see that there was some lying <laughs> Uh, you know, lying just like Jack and Victor and the rest of the gang. But man, Isaac came there. You have Winston coming there. Him kicking freaking Tam's ass. Solid job. This was a good episode, guys. Um, another good episode, baby. So season two. I mean, excuse me, excuse me. Season six, episode two, done, guys. Um, really good episode. We'll see you next time, guys. Don't forget like, subscribe, comment if you want to, guys. Um. It does, it does go far with us, guys, but, you know, we want you to do it because you guys want to do it. So, thank you, guys. Let me know your thoughts if you choose below, guys. See you soon, guys. Peace and love. Peace.